what was the constant topic which we were discussing since last year i believe that pollution climate change was the constant topic which we again discuss and this is a very unfortunate circumstances in front of india and in front of the whole world because the pollution level is rising day by day we are becoming more vulnerable to polluted activities and that has a huge impact on human and animal health also the environment hello and welcome to the in focus series of drishti is i am ritu and today's session is about world air quality report 2024 and this session is important for your gs3 perspective so moving towards the points of discussion part so first of all we are going to discuss the news then we are going to discuss about the highlight of the report and then we are going to discuss practice question for prelims before that you have to like share and subscribe to this tis channel moving towards to the news part so the news is that iq air has announced the world air quality report 2024 and in this report they had highlighted about the conditions which are becoming worse into the cities so they had taken the territories countries cities so we are going to overview the pollution level into different cities of the world so this news which we are going to cover up in today's session so they had taken data from more than 40000 air quality monitoring stations across 8954 locations in 138 countries so here we are going to analyze on the basis of all these data so coming to the discussion part so here we have to discuss the key findings of this particular uh, world air quality report so only 17% of the global cities meet the who air pollution guideline and what is the who uh, air pollution guideline so seven countries met the who annual average which is pm 2.5 guideline of 5 uh, microgram per cubic meter so this is the what you can say guideline set by the who and only seven countries have maintain that which is australia bahamas barbados estonia grenada iceland and new zealand so only these countries had met the who annual average and here we are going to discuss about the five most polluted countries in 2024 so chad so chad was 91.8 8 microgram per cubic meter and here more than 18 times higher than the who pm 2.5 annual guideline then we can see the bangladesh which is 78.0 uh, uh, microgram per cubic meter and it is 15 times higher than who guidelines then we have pakistan and it is 14 times higher than the who guidelines then we have democratic republic of congo and it is 11 times higher and india is also among the world most five polluted countries and here it is 10 times higher than the who annual guideline so this is about the findings that which countries are most polluted ones and which countries are following the guidelines of the who now here we'll discuss about another facts which are related and which are written into this particular report so a total of 126 out of 138 countries and region exceeded the who annual guidelines so around 91.3 countries had not followed and met the who guidelines and byrini heart which is a city in india was the most polluted metropolitan area of 2024 with an annual average of concentration of 128.2 microgram per cubic meter and the region of central and south asia was home to the top 7 most polluted cities in the world and india is also part of the south asian countries so india was home to 6 polluted cities out of 9 in the world so maya gaz puerto rico was the cleanest metropolitan Ten area of 2024 with an annual average of PM 2.5 concentration of 1.1 microgram per cubic meter. Then PM 2.5 concentration decreased in every country in Southeast Asia, though transboundary haze and lingering El Nino condition remain major factors. 
इन एफ्रीका देर इज अ डर्थ ऑफ रियल टाइम पब्लिकली एक्सेबल एयर क्वालिटी मॉनिटरिंग डेटा सो इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू डिटरमाइन दैट वॉट काइंड ऑफ एयर क्वालिटी इज देयर सो देर इज ओनली वन मॉनिटरिंग स्टेशन फॉर एवरी थ्री पॉइंट सेवन मिलियन पीपल सो दैट्स वाई एफ्रीका डेटा हैज सम शॉर्ट ऑफ स्कॉसिटी एंड शॉर्टेजेज एंड देन वाइल्ड फायर इन एमेजन आर अनदर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग फैक्टर ऑफ द low air quality is in different countries so latin american countries had this wildfires uh, in amazon rain forest is the one of the contributing factor then osnia is the world's cleanest region with 57% of the regional cities meeting the who uh, pm 2.5 guidelines so osnia is the world's cleanest region this is very much important for examination then we are going to discuss about the pollution level in india so we had already discussed that out of 9 six countries belongs to india which are most polluted cities of the world so in 2024 india's average pm 2.5 concentration was 50.6 microgram per cubic meter a 7% decline from 2023 but the different part is that still we are the most polluted cities comes from our country so this is a very difficult situation for us and here we can see that bayer nihat topped this list which is very unfortunate then delhi recorded 91.6 microgram per cubic meter nearly unchanged from 2023 northern states have recorded more pollution and they have a severe pollution and they have Uh, contributed a, a lot to the pollution level and burning uh, what you can say crops and stubble burning is uh, one of the main contributor for the northern uh, regions and here we can see that 60% of the pollution came from the stubble burning so here industrial uh, discharge vehicular emissions and construction dust are the contributing factor for the low level of air quality in the indian cities now we are going to discuss about the overview so what is the overview of this whole world uh, air quality report so the overview is that many countries have improved and in few see the overall so we have decreased but still we are exceeding the who guidelines so we have to try and we are sometimes we are exceeding 18 times higher india is 10 to 11 times higher which we need to brought under the limit and only seven countries are qualifying that so first we need to follow the who guidelines and we have to make sure that we need to reach nearby of the who line and right now we have to ensure that we have to reach nearby and after that we have to ensure that we are under the guidelines so over the past year air quality monitoring has expanded globally yet significant gaps remain in government operated system so low cost monitor were very much uh, helpful and especially in developed countries if they are stationed so they tell us the exact air quality which is very much uh, helpful in data collection then iq air emphasizes that air quality data is crucial for uh, public awareness because if we do not have data then how we can determine that this city is polluted or this region is polluted so that's why data is very much important for spreading awareness policy decisions and health interventions and iq air is one of the initiative which is school for earth initiative aims to equip over 1 million schools with the air quality monitors so as you already know that you have also heard such kind of the news that in delhi uh, and in different cities the schools are closed because of the bad air quality so schools are the significant criteria and significant what you can say indicator that whether uh, the air quality are good or not and here we have to determine this uh, children's health students health and uh, this is school for earth initiative is talk about that we need to monitor the air quality in the schools so if we have this air monitor quality and if we have this low cost monitors in the schools and different kind of monitors in the school that will tell us the actual data and we can improve our students health and we can also improve others health also so we need to work here also and then currently only 21% of the world has access but with school based monitoring this could rise to 94% so here we have to work and we have to establish 
uh, monitors in the school so that we can have a data about the air quality, empowering communities and improving public health worldwide. So for that we need monitors, we need more initiatives, we have to work on our industrial waste, we have to work on, on our vehicular emissions so that with taking these small and baby steps we can clear the air and we can help in contributing a healthy and good environment. Now we are going to discuss about the practice question for prelims. By Harini Hart, the most polluted metropolitan area in 2024 is located in which country? This is very easy one, you can answer into the comment section. Pakistan, Bangladesh, India and China. So you can answer into the comment section. Also, this topic is very much related to the stubble burning. So, stubble burning is biggest problem especially into the November to January month. So, uh, if we have seen the data that around 60% of the uh, contributing factor is comes from the stubble burning. So, how we can plan uh, this stubble burning, how we can control the stubble burning, what are the alternative available for the stubble burning so that we can reduce the pollution. So this would be your mains question. So kindly prepare this for your mains question. And that's it for today's session. I hope you like this session. If you have any queries related to this session, kindly ask into the comment section. Thank you. Have a nice day. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.